How's it going guys? Right, uh, another quick video. Uh, I just wanted to show you today, um, I've got a f about, I think it's 18 um, Nintendo GameCube games, which I've got, and they're all completely sealed, factory sealed. So, quite a nice little collection that I've got now, uh, but I'm breaking up the band. Um, I've uh, I've still got my, I've got my game room to uh, to build and uh, getting all the shelving and stuff custom built for that is going to cost a lot of money. So I've got to say goodbye to a few things to uh, to help sort of pay for all this. Um, so GameCube collection uh, I'm sort of scaling down a little bit. Uh, I said I had about sort of 250 GameCube games. Um, now I've probably got about I sold about 100 games a little while ago and uh, now I'm going to scale it down again a bit more. Uh, and get rid of all these sealed games because effectively I'm never going to play them So because uh, I can't actually bring myself to open them so uh, I've got to sell them so we'll have a quick look see what we've got so we've got Dark Summit um, Resident Evil 4 which again sometimes they're going for about sort of 40 50 pounds plus a go we've got uh, Splinter Cell Pandora Tomorrow Shadow the Hedgehog, uh, Pitmin 2, which sometimes those again, about 50, 60 quid they're going for. We've got Medal of Honor, European Assault, Geist, Super Monkey Ball Adventure. Some guys got one of these on their bay at the minute for it's about 130 pounds they are at the minute. So crazy money for that one. Uh, Sonic Gems again, that's going for about sort of anywhere between sort of 60 80 pounds. Some people are trying to sell them for Splinter Cell Chaos Theory, uh, Killer 7, again, pretty rare game, about 30 40 pounds. Tony Hawk's Pro Skate 4, probably don't get a lot for that. Uh, Alien Hominid, uh, never played that, looks pretty cool. Star Wars Rebel Strike Road Squadron 3. Uh, this one again has got it's got like a limited edition sort of uh, book that came with it as well. It's all sealed up inside there. So I should get a sort of okay cash for that. Call of Duty, the big red one. Um, again, pretty cool game. Uh, Paper Mario, so that should be worth some uh, fairly severe cash. It's a rare game as it is, even when it's not sealed. Uh, Legend of Zelda, The Wind Waker, and Dave Mira Freestyle BMX 2. Now I got this, if you saw my uh, massive pickup that I got at the weekend, uh, this actually came with it, uh, all sealed up. Uh, I've just sold this on eBay like, uh, tonight, got £40 for that. Uh, so effectively all those consoles now only cost me 120 rather than 140 just for one game sold. So I wanted to give you uh, just a quick look. Uh, pretty good collection, I think, of uh, sealed GameCube games. Again, don't really want to sell them, but again, really want to get my games room finished uh, sometime soon so I can actually uh, house all these games that I've got. So, uh, yeah, these will be uh, <laughs> winging their way onto eBay soon, I'm sure. Uh, again, hopefully, I'll get a uh, few quid for them and uh, put it towards the new game room. Alright guys, thanks for watching and I'll catch you soon with another review.